Okay, so this is number 16, and then they show this unbalanced chemical reactions shown up here. And so we need to balance it, and the qu question is specifically asking about what is the one that the constant go in front of H2O. Okay, so you need to have the same number of atoms. So I will start with something that is uh, not common. Let's, let's start with the boron. So you have a two borons here, so you need two borons. And then make it six fluoride. So you need a six fluoride here. And so once you finish those two, let's try to balance the other atoms, which is a, there's a three oxygens, there's a one, so you need three waters here. And then by making so, you need a six H, and this make it six H. So therefore, this one is balanced. So let's just want to make sure. Just write it out. Okay, and so B2O3, 6HF. And then now you check the number of atoms here. One so on. Borons so balanced. Fluoride is balanced. Oxygen is balanced. And hydrogen is balanced. So therefore, the constant goes in front of H2O is number 3. Okay, which of the following uh, uh, atom is commonly an ion? And then you need to know the, you need to have a look at it, the periodic tables. And by looking at the periodic tables, you need to, you'll find out how many electrons they want to either acquire or they want to lose. And then uh, by looking at it, and so now aluminum, typically they like to be three plus, they like to lose three electrons. Beryllium is in the second column, so this is a Be with a two plus. Bromium is in the seventh column, so they like to get bromine, they like to get one electron to, to satisfy the octet rule, so bromine minus. Chlorine is the same thing. Chlorine is a chlorine minus. Phosphorus is there in the fifth fifth column. So they therefore either they like to lose five electrons or they can take three electrons to make essentially octet rule. So therefore this is the correct one uh, to be shown up here. Okay, so number 18 is, which is the following compound forms a covalent bond? So you, you see this number of uh, uh, atoms, they form this bond, and then what matters is, the other way to answer this is, what's the opposite of covalent bond, which is not ionic bonds, and then, then this is a typically X versus Y, the electronegativity. Differences. If it is uh, smaller, then, then it's more covalent than the ionic. And if you're looking at the uh, carbon and oxygen, and this is uh, more like the electronegativity difference is not so much. Whereas now you can see this cesium is cesium plus, fluoride minus, potassium plus, iodine minus, oxygen is 2 minus, magnesium is 2 plus, and then serenthium is uh, 2 plus, and then 2 times chlorine minus. So this is all like ionic species, whereas a carbon monoxide is, uh, there's a covalent bond between this, because carbon and oxygen has a relatively smaller electronegativity difference as well. And the calcium fluoride, and you need to, so calcium sulfide is the number 19, and the calcium is, you need to know, calcium is this, and sulfide means an S. And then inherently, this is a second column, so calcium is 2 plus, and sulfur is 2 minus. Those of you who does not know where, where this, uh, how many electrons uh, they want to lose or acquire, uh, 
because of the reference sheet of the your general chemistry readiness assessment GCRA will provide you the uh, periodic table so you will see that all oh, calcium is in the second column and the uh, sulfur is on the essentially sixth column which is same as on oxygen and then now you can see this so this one is charges balanced now so just as chemical structure is this so that will be the answer okay so now uh, what is a molar mass molar mass is essentially in a unit of per mole how much does it weigh in terms of the gram right what is a mass and then this is a ammonium nickel sulfide sulfate and that's the chemical structures so pre loaded chemical structures but what you need to know now is okay nitrogen nitrogen is 14 if you look at the atomic table there are there are two of them okay hydrogen from here which is a atomic weight of one there are four of them and uh, there are eight of them because it's, it, it has been multiplied by two shown up here so it's an eight uh, and then the nickel nickel if you're looking at the periodic table that's a 58.7 that is one and then all about the sulfur sulfur is 32 and there are two of them oxygen which is a uh, atomic weight is 16 and then there are eight of them right so you got to do is you have to add them up which is a uh, 14 times 2 8 58.7 just add them together 32 times 2 16 times 8 you just put it in the, on the calculator you will get the number that is 286.7 okay which is the closest one is this I'm using the number that is not so exact just uh, looking at the closest digits that I can find out to get this number if you want to be more accurate and then you got to put some more number with higher significant figures this is close enough for me to choose the answer is shown in multiple choices.